Ron Bird's original custard and turn an afterthought into a pudding. Welcome back. It's 14 minutes past eight. It's the show that the comics love to hate. No, 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 not, not us. It's been described as being as exciting as watching paint dry with more fluffs than an Angora sweater. But today, cross sorry about that, Sue, Crossroads <laughs> celebrates its 20th anniversary. And despite this slagging, 14 million fans, and that's the answer, including the Queen Mum, can't be wrong. Reporter Tina Baker paid a visit to Central Television in Birmingham, home of Britain's most famous motel, to join the Crossroads celebrations. Hello, Crossroads Motel, can I help you? 20 years ago, these words started what was going to be a six-week series with a working title, The Midland Road. But now, Crossroads has become a national institution and the show's characters have many fond and funny memories of their time on the show. I think the time when I was, uh, they thought that I'd murdered the girl in the garage, I think that had the incredible re reaction to that. I mean, people were writing in saying they were going to dig up cricket pitches if it wasn't proved that I was innocent. It was the Benny is Innocent campaign, wasn't that it? That was it, yeah, I was amazing that. But it was lovely because I think it was done with tongue in cheek, you know. Um, well, the best one's got to be when Sue came back to me after having left me for another fella. <laughs> yeah, go on, tell him. <laughs> Does she actually mistake you for a dad, David? Uh, no, I don't think she, but, but fortunately, because we, we mix quite a lot socially, and I'm going to get anything, because I'm her godfather, <laughs> uh, she does know me, and, and she re reacts very well. She's not started calling her dad David or anything? No. No, no, she's just dad, a mother that A real that, dad's yeah. got a beard, you see. Her. A real dad's got a beard, which helps. Mm. So she knows, mind you, he grew a beard. Yeah, I grew a beard during the break. Through the whole Only shady, shady's off this morning, I had her really confused. The comics might mock, but with the millions of fans, the Crossroads crew can afford to celebrate. Oh, just gone into the cake! Oh, 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 the hell with the cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a chorus of happy birthday, isn't it? Yes! yes. yes. Uh, happy wow. birthday! Twenty years. Ah. On today's programme, of course, we're joined by two Crossroads stars, Sue Hansen, who plays Diane, and Tony Morton, who played Carlos for the very, very early Crossroads viewers. What do you think, um, what do you think was the secret of Carlos, the chef? Because, I mean, his character has lasted right through the... Yeah, years. well, I mean, it was good therapy. We're all used, if we aren't on the box, aren't we? And if um, uh, a Harris mother had got the kids around her feet and Carla said, get out of the kitchen, I mean, he said the very thing she was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> And sure. he, he was a nice, friendly type as well. He was oh, cuddly. he was greatly loved, yeah. That was hard to uh, uh, keep up, I tell you. you know. When you play villains, you, you get um, a measure of respect. <laughs> <laughs> but if everybody loves you, it makes a difficult life. Now, we've got some clips of um, old cross, uh, Crossroads oh, moments oh, for you. Sure? Oh, oh, yeah, great. we've got a few yeah. vintage, pi vintage pictures. Oh, let's, great. Have a, let's have a look. This one, of course, I think most people remember, is Meg's wedding. And, of course, it's had a huge build-up oh. in the press. And millions of people Excuse watched. me. Can you tell me if this is the way to the royal enclosure, Ascot? Oh, he's comical, isn't he? I mean, he's comical. <clears throat> I think we ought to leave all the jokes up to him. Good morning, Stanley. Good morning. Blimey, you look very grim. I thought this was supposed to be a happy occasion. Yes, well, we're getting into the mood. Gradually. Yeah, well, you haven't got much time. The cars are waiting. Jules sent me to find you. Come on, we're due to start off any minute now. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I declare you husband and wife. Oh. Not a dry eye in the house. What a lot of water's flowed under the bridge since then. Yes, of course, was Sandy, Roger Tom. Yes, bless him. He sadly died. Lovely Do you get person. amazed that people in real life take what goes on in the soaps so seriously? Not really, no. I, I'm very flattered they do, because that's one's job to do precisely that. If they didn't take me seriously, I'd be very worried. And as Henry was saying earlier, we were so pleased that you survived the fire. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, so was I. <laughs> fire is another one of those magical moments. So, yes, so good we'd like to let you see it again. I'll never forget it. I still suspect you did it, Diane. I don't. Oh, my God! The motel! It's on fire! Mum! Where are you going? 
not afraid of fire anymore, Betty. Sam! Oh dear me. Oh dear. I remember one of the scenes we had, which is very difficult not to laugh. I had to say, the switchboard is in ashes. <laughs> <laughs> I always worried about that switchboard. <laughs> And Dennis Taylor, the snooker <coughs> champion, has been with us all morning. Are you a great Crossroads fan? Uh, Crossroads and Coronation Street. I enjoy yes, watching too. Coronation I Street Coronation. as well. I think everybody yeah. likes their soaps. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us this yes, morning. Over there, but wondering what everybody... Tony, what are you doing on Bonfire Night? Celebrating? Yeah, no, I suppose I'll hold a sparkler, a laugh to pills. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Thank you very much. Sue, Sue, how will you spend it? Will you well, celebrate? I'm going your... to see the boyfriend at the Albury Theatre. How about that for a plug? That's very good. <laughs> What's it in? Pun? What's the play? The boyfriend. boyfriend. Oh, you're going to see Musical. the boyfriend. Yes, the boyfriend. I wondered for a moment. I thought maybe it was a social indiscretion. No, no, um, no. no. <laughs> what about you, Jerry? <laughs> Bye, and thanks very much to Sue Hansen, obviously, and to Tony Morton and all the people. Congratulations to Crossroads. Thanks very much, too, to Jerry Fitt, who's been with us all morning, and to Dennis Taylor and his missus, who joined us early. See you tomorrow morning at about 6 o'clock. And on the programme, Erica Young, Peter York, Knitting is Saturday Call, and don't forget the Wide Awake Club. So have a nice Friday, a nice start to the weekend. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.